Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see addition of three digit numbers without regrouping as we are in class 2 now. Addition is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video now. First, we are going to add 642 plus 200. Both these numbers are three digit numbers. So you can write down them vertically one below the other. 642 plus 200. It is always a good practice to write down the place values. Ones, tens and hundreds. Then begin the addition from the ones place. 2 plus 0 will give you 2 because from the properties of addition we have learned that when any number is added with 0 you get the same number. I have dealt with properties of addition in a separate video. The link to which is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. You have learned about this property in your class 1 itself. Next move on to the tens place. In the tens place we have 4 plus 0 which will give you 4. Next move on to the hundreds place. In hundreds place you have 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 will give you the answer 8. So the sum of the two three digit numbers 642 plus 200 will give you the answer 842. Let us do the next example. Here we have add 856 plus 33. 856 is a 3 digit number and 33 is a 2 digit number. So first write down the 3 digit number and write down the place values 1s, 10s and 100s. So it will become easy for you to write the number 33 in its correct place. So next Write down the number 33 in the 1's place and the 10's place because it is a 2 digit number. Next, begin your addition from the 1's place. 6 plus 3 will give you 9. Next, move on to the 10's place. 5 plus 3 will give you 8. Next, move on to the 100's place. 8 and you do not have any digit over here. You can assume it to be 0. So 8 plus 0 will give you 8. So the sum of the numbers 856 plus 33 will give you the answer 889. Let us do the next sum. Add 400 plus 300. In this case, both these numbers are 3 digit numbers. So you can directly write them vertically one below the other. And always a good practice to write down the Place values 1s, 10s and 100s. So begin your addition from the 1s place. In 1s place we have 0 plus 0 which will give you 0 again. Next move on to the 10s place. 0 plus 0 will give you 0. So next move on to the 100s place where you have 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the sum of the two 3 digit numbers 400 plus 300 will give you the answer 700. Let us do the next example where you have to add 913 which is the 3 digit number with 6 which is a single digit number. So first write down the 3 digit number and write down its place values 1s, 10s and 100s. I will always suggest you to write down the digit which is serving the maximum place value first. When in the case of addition, it is always best to write down the number with the highest place value first. Write down the place values and then it will be easy for you to write down the remaining numbers in their correct places. So in this case, we have a single digit number 6. We just have to write in the 1's place. If you write down 6 in the 10's place or in the 100's place, then the addition will be Wrong. That is the reason I always suggest write down the place values first of the biggest number so that you can write down the remaining numbers in addition 
in their respective correct places. So next begin the addition from the ones place. 3 plus 6 will give you 9. Next move on to the tens place. In tens place you do not have any digit in the second number. So you can assume it to be 0 or you can just write down the number in the tens place directly in the answer. So in the tens place you will have 1. Next you move on to the hundreds place. There also you do not have any digit in the second number. So assume it to be 0 and just write down the digit in the hundreds place directly. So 913 plus 6 will give you the answer 919. Let us do the next example. Add 527 plus 142. So here both these numbers are three digit numbers. So you can just write them down one below the other. Write down the place values ones, tens and hundreds and begin the addition from the ones place. In ones place you have 7 plus 2 which will give you 9. Next move on to the tens place where you have to add 2 plus 4 which will give you 6. Next move on to the hundreds place where you have 5 plus 1 which will make 6. We know that when 1 is added to any number you will get the next number. This is also one of the properties of addition. So 5 plus 1 will give you 6 which is the next number of 5. So the sum of the two three digit numbers 527 plus 142 will give you the answer 669. Dear viewers, hope you like my video. I am happy that you are watching my videos. Please do click the subscribe button if you like my video as your subscription definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button and choose the all option to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome for the children in class 2 under the topic addition of which we have covered revision of basic addition concept and addition of three numbers without regrouping or carryover in one video. In the other videos I have covered regrouping one sentence. In the next video I have covered addition of two digit numbers with regrouping of ones and addition of three two digit numbers with regrouping of ones. Next, I have also covered this adding three single digit numbers with regrouping in separate videos. And in this video where you are dealing with addition of higher numbers, we have covered the topic adding three digit numbers without regrouping. In the upcoming videos, we will be dealing with addition of two digit numbers with regrouping both the ones and tens. Next, we will be dealing with adding three digit numbers with regrouping of ones and then regrouping of the ones and tens. Then we'll be taking up some story sums and do some mental mathematics and also deal with addition concept worksheets. I'll be dealing with each of these concepts in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box. Dear viewers, if you like my video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. Do provide your valuable comments both positive and negative in the comment section. I would definitely love to interact with you all. Thank you for watching my video. See you again.